I'd like to talk a little bit about the grip that I'm using. This is the fulcrum grip. It's like the Burton grip, but except we have a, a fulcrum grip like a snare drum. So instead of rotation, more of an up and down. And so this is open spread fulcrum. So it's like I'm playing drums. with these two mallets and just put the other two outside and this is the fulcrum. This is more of a closed and just allow this outside mallet to float. It won't, won't be locked in the hand. And very loose. Uh, I'm holding the mallets extremely loose. There's really no tension. And the, the key to this grip is the outside of the mallet comes out of the hand. So uh, watch the end of the mallet here. All right, so it's not a rotation. It's more of an up and down. So what I would suggest is just practice like this using the fulcrum then put the two outside mallets in the hand, but just let it go, don't try to lock it in. And just vary the spread. Now at this point, my index finger is straight out, so it's acting as a guide. Now it's more of an open spread fulcrum, so these mallets almost 90 degrees. And now the fulcrum is here. And uh, this, this grip really changed my, my playing in terms of sound, nuance. Uh, I can get a, a nice accent just by letting this mallet come up like this. So instead of this, now the mallet is coming out of the hand. So it can have a lot of nuance in, in terms of dead strokes, and a big dynamic range. And also for uh, stickings, double stickings. It's, it's also very easy to play. All right, so that's the fulcrum. With the outside mallet, if you want to use the uh, fingers, the fourth finger moves that outside mallet just like that. All right, so I just, between the uh, th thumb and the third finger, I use that fourth finger. And so the, the other thing you can do is you can play a voicing with the fulcrum. So what I'm doing is the outside mallets are coming out of the hand and then I snap it. But there's no tension, it's very, very loose. Okay, so that's the uh, fulcrum grip. And uh, this.